Okay, it looks like it finally arrived, and I just wanted to thank uh, one of my viewers out there who suggested uh, I was doing some fusion experiments, and the problem is the electromagnetic waves interfere with uh, very sensitive uh, like recoil neutron detectors, and they suggested uh, getting these uh, detectors that are completely passive, basically. They're a bubble detector. They create bubbles when um, the radiation strikes it, and then you can reset them. Looks pretty cool. Um, making sure that that's what this is. North American Trade Agreement. Okay. So, it came through the North American Trade Agreement. These came from Canada. And, uh, I guess there aren't any dealers. There used to be some dealers in the U.S. And they stopped selling this product, so I had to order this from Canada. So we'll just do an unboxing, and then maybe in the next video we'll test this detector. I had to order two of them. There's a minimum order of two. I got the most sensitive ones. Okay. Oh, there we go. Neutron bubble detector from Bubble Tech. Okay. And it looks like they have some kind of pen top things that you can put on them so you can carry them around like a dosimeter, but I just wanted to use them for experiments. And you're supposed to keep them, I guess, inside of this pressurized container when you're not using them. It's got an O-ring on it. And I'm going to have to read the directions, but there's something you have to do to set it. You change the pressure inside of it and uh, that will set it so that it can um, form bubbles and detect neutrons and then you can repressurize it and, and um, get rid of the bubbles and then use it again. So here we go. Neutron bubble detector and they come in these little cases protect them. It looks like a cigar case almost. And it's got an O-ring to keep it pressurized and they, they told me that they're guaranteed to be calibrated for three months and then after that uh, I guess they're not guaranteed to be calibrated. I asked him can you refurbish them? Can you fix them up again? He didn't say they would stop working after three months but definitely they, they wouldn't guarantee the calibration so okay so I don't know what the lifetime of these things are, but anyway, there it is. I think these two cost me, I kind of panicked because uh, I thought they co quoted me a couple hundred dollars, and then, um, or uh, about three hundred dollars, and then then I got a bill for like four seventy or something, but that, I guess that was in Canadian dollars, so it was actually about three sixty for two of them. Uh, pl probably plus tax. Anyway, there we go. Neutron bubble detectors. I'll we'll have to use these in some uh, some uh, interesting science experiments. Some fusion. We'll have to do some fusion energy experiments with these. Anyway, I'm just going to make this a short video, and I'm going to try to figure out how to use those things. Okay, I'll, I guess also, looks like they sent me a envelope calibration certificate. Okay. Bubbles per milliram. So it looks like it's about... Uh, 21 milliram, I don't know if you can see that, per bubble. And it has it the SV, I forget what that scale is. Uh, BDPN. Okay, there's the serial numbers on it. And uh, it looks like they used a americium beryllium source to calibrate it. Okay. And they give you the flux. 1.13 times 10 to the 7 neutrons per second. And the energy of the neutrons. Okay. Very interesting. And here's the directions on how to use it. 
Okay. So I'll have to read through that and then see if I can figure out how to use it. Okay, so let's try to activate this thing. Just see if we can activate it. And we'll try to dream up some experiments to do with this. So it's saying you should never grab onto the plastic part. You should always hang on to the aluminum part. And you can unscrew this piston thing here. And that, I guess, depressurizes the unit. So that it can detect neutrons. And it says you can either just leave this off or you can just stick it on backwards like that just so you don't lose it and then you store this someplace and wait for the neutrons to hit it and count the bubbles and then uh, I guess when you're done you can they, they recommend keeping this stored under pressure so we'll stick this back on and uh, that will keep the thing pressurized and help it last longer. They said don't over tighten it because that will possibly wreck it. But anyway, so there we go. And let me just put this back in the container for now. And uh, we'll set up an experiment shortly and test this guy out and see how it works. Okay? Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.